they're all puppets. Like voting doesn't even matter. You don't. Presidents are selected. Yeah, yeah, not you can elected. tell. The government needs to join us in blood, or they're gonna die too. All the politicians need to put their blood over their intent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here explaining this realm. life. This is I don't our know. World. Everybody's We've invited. Taken over. <laughs> it's like holy shit, man. I don't know, Michael. They don't see it. They never even, will. Even they're, they're just Joe gonna Biden. keep looking at facts to not see it and look at like they're gonna try to think that we're Satanist or we're Christian or we're some kind of fucking religion. We aren't no religion. We're here in the flesh, motherfuckers. We're and alive. Exactly. We're just alive. We're in the flesh now. You know, it's their Bible, not ours. I'm, the only I way, I it's like, like I just don't know why Bible people can't just accept the con shit. concept it, we're it, living it, in it, hell, you know? To be retired. Right. They just can't accept the concept we're the living Bible in hell. Needs to they be don't retired. accept it's it. Full of lies. It's like, dude, our whole no, system's fucking flawed. Our yeah, whole system. What else are these people gonna do? Rebel against the government? Well, we ain't rebelling. We're here telling that you can get your eternal life and the game's over. The war's over. Yeah. Right here in the comfort of our home. That's right. We've been doing it now for years and it's just, it keeps on pumping out, you know? There's gonna be more and more to come. More people are gonna witness this and, and the more they get involved in it, they're gonna witness it themselves. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to be able to see, they're going to be a part of it. You know, and that's what we want. We want people to be a part of that because it's not like, you know, we're here doing anything to sell you anything. We're not trying to fucking try you, tell you to come worship a, a Baphomet, whatever you think. Like, we ain't doing none of that shit. We're explaining your eternal life to you. Like, you know, nobody else is going to talk to that about you. And, you know, all these people will say no. And the, usually it's the ones that are saying no are the ones that don't believe, that don't, that don't think that way, so, you know, they don't think that they can... And, you can, and, and, and they can come on here and talk about anything. Exactly. We're not here pushing anybody away. We're here to talk these things out. We're not no religion. But if you want to talk about your religion, we can talk about your religion with you. But you won't because people are just going to hide in their well, you know, it's easy to... It's easy to talk shit about us when we're censored and we're blocked and we can't back up our words. Like, this message we're talking about was published four years ago. Where the fuck were you then to call us a cult? You want to call us a cult now after we publish this message? Like, we've already moved on to the fact that you tried to digitally genocide us off of the World Wide Web. We're the living souls here in the flesh trying to show humanity how they can free themselves from the blood cult. They're already in, and they don't have to like it. But the Vatican, the Christian religion, is a satanic cult. And that's all there is to it. The Christians are so badly confused. It, it's disgusting. It sucks, man. They think that Jesus was a living man, and he's coming back to save them when they're dead. They don't even know what Dude, Jesus we just is. Looked up the son the, of God. Yeah, they just looked the it up. Son. And the Catholic definition of uh, God was... A male and a female, but they call a God, um, they call a God a father, they said, you know, and, and the definition is a male and female. Like, how can they call their God a father if the definition, if, it's like, none of it makes any sense, What's you know? It's like so The confusing. white hole sun is the exactly. masculine side, and the black hole sun is the feminine side. It's right. the masculine, feminine energy. And that's what the uh, smoky guy Smokey God mentioned that plane. last night too. He said we there's not the mother, which is here, but we're on the mother, and the only father is Jesus the Son. That's the only mother father here. It's Jesus the Son of God. It's the light of the world. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for this entity to come out of the sky. Well the sun, where do you it's in the sky, coming out of the clouds. The rays of light are conscious, they're shining onto your head. You need to go outside and look at it and speak your intent the sun the sun is like the focal point from the black hole sun if it's a reflection from the black hole sun it's it's the focal point it's like a needle on the disc yeah. like if you take an analog vinyl record it's an analog wave and there's a, an actual wave pressed into the vinyl and when you put the needle on the disc it oscillates in the vibration of the record spiraling in and it creates a sound wave well the sun is creating like, it's a focal point. It's collecting all of the energy that's in the Akashic Records. It's reading the Akashic Records. And it's all the information that you programmed it with. Your thoughts, your words, your actions, your intentions. 
It's an energy. Your intention is a living wave. <laughs> and it's being recorded into the ether field 24 hours a day. Big brother, that's, that's why you need to put heck. your blood over your intention. You need to speak powerful intentions of living, you know, living intentions, living words to bring forth heaven on earth and put a drop of blood on it. And you're literally sealing your royal water. It's your DNA. The Bible told them there's truth left in the Bible. And the most important truth that's left in the Bible is Leviticus 17, 11. And it specifically states that the life is in the blood to make atonement for your sins. That's what blood over intent is. And that's the only way you're going to get to heaven, folks. Mm-hmm. Showing yeah. your creator just what my brother just said. No, they'll wait till they're dead to, uh, yeah. to they'll wait till they're dead to say, you know, thinking that they're gonna go with their father, but we've already explained the Saturn Moon Matrix. We've already explained the Saturn Moon Matrix and we've even explained how you can get eternal life even if you die. Like you can literally get to the you gotta it's a Saturn Moon Matrix. They're gonna try to reincarnate your soul when you pass, so what you do is you turn your back on the light, on the moonlight, and you're gonna project. The moon, yeah, the moon is a succubus. It's creating yeah. a disruption wave. It's poisoning the well, mm -hmm. and it's what's trapping the souls here in on loop. It erases your memory, and you're reincarnated as an infant, having to start all over again, which is where you are right now. That's why you don't know anything. You know, we're the, we're the first generation to wake up to this information. It was Mark Braun? On that opened the book of life with his blood and he put up gallons and gallons of blood bank note certificates people say oh I can't be the real. blood that he donated Asshole. so he's literally standing on gallons of blood all of that spiritual currency that he put into this room um, he, he directed the intention of it towards heaven on earth all of the spiritual currency, every drop of blood that you put into this world is affecting reality. Like when you're working in construction, they say no job is complete until there's a drop of blood in it. Oh, is that why they do some sort of sacrifice sometimes when they b build big ass buildings? They kill someone. Damn. I know. Well, with dark intentions, that's where they're spilling the blood of other people. That's what they're doing. They're they're all, you're already in a blood cult. They spilled your blood against your will when they took your blood from your foot at birth. The first, that's the first thing they're after in the hospital, is your blood. They spill your spiritual currency into the ether, but it's programmed to the intention of the earth bond, legal name, cult of death. The hospital's a part of the cult of death. They're complacent with genocide. They're the ones subscribing prescriptions for the pharmaceuticals. Pill after pill after pill till you're dead. From all the side effects from the medicines you're on. They won't tell you anything about natural science, to eat well, to get to the holy grail, to drink the living waters, to re reverse aging. Everything they do is to hide the holy grail. The church is confusing people. The government's confusing people. Everybody's confusing people. Unless you're one of them. 144,000 blood thick to bring forth heaven on earth, then you are part of the problem. Until you join us in blood, you're in the book of the dead by default. That's how your creator sees you, as dead. Yeah, I never thought I'd see the day where they had pain clinics. 1144. And with heavy pain killers, they just hand them to you. All you gotta do is say you're back. Yeah, they're making a lot of money selling these drugs. Millions, all billions of dollars in pills. Yeah, they're all over the streets of my town. But that's big dollars there. People pay like $20 for one purpose then. Yeah. Because they need them for the pain. They're all getting old and their bodies are wearing out. So they need painkillers to relieve 
It's because they didn't get to the Holy Grail to drink from the living water. It's the fountain of youth. You'll stay like you're in your young 20s forever if you keep drinking from the living waters. You'll just be like you're 20, 21 years old. It's what I was told. It's the fountain of youth. It will keep you in a state of youthfulness. It's got the stem cells of life. You need to bathe in it and drink from it before you die. This is the only way out of here. Other than that, death is your other option. And you can end it quickly with your own hand if you really want to. And people do. Suicide rates are through the roof right now with all of this tyranny crippling the economy, crushing people's lives, making them depressed. So they're just killing themselves because they have nothing to live for. The soldiers that came back from war were killing themselves. They found out that they were tricked into going to another country, destroying their nation for what? False flag wars, for to steal their opium, to traffic drugs back to America. A lot of good people got into the army thinking they were going to stand up for the freedoms of their people to protect their country, but they got used as pawns in a political scheme. And a yeah, even them soldiers agenda. are all fucked up from it because they were going into innocent families' homes and fucking torturing innocent families. That's what they were having the army uh, soldiers do. And now they all got PTSD and... A lot of them came out and... They're all fucked up it. in the head, I remember man. a video after... They came back from Iraq and there was a few brave men stood up. Spoke These up. were small guys. These guys were, you know, well-trained soldiers and they, they were in tears. Well, for what they've done. They told the story about how they... I just watched that. Rocket yeah, to yeah I just watched that today. Just, they, the guy walked into the house and this woman... You know, saw it in his face, she, the, she, he just killed her children, Damn. and she put his hand on this American soldier's face and said, it's okay, my child. You know, I know that you don't know. They, they knew that they were brainwashed. Yeah. He just murdered their, their children, and this mother had compassion for this American soldier. He broke down in tears, telling the story that, you know, when they woke up to what they were doing, that's when they realized they were hmm. fighting a war for these political terrorists. The government is the terrorists. Yeah. You should take a rocket launcher and blow up the White House. You should shoot the chemtrail planes out of the sky. No, you should raid the underground tunnels and free the children from this human trafficking. They're murdering a thousand or a million, a million children a year, they say. 800,000 to a million children a year is the reports I've heard and the research I've done. Yeah. A lot of them are going missing from the Midwest United States. They're using the underground tunnels to traffic them. They torture them to get the adrenal chrome out of their blood. And then they serve their carcasses back to you as food at your hamburger joints. Making everybody cannibals. So, there you go. That's what your Christian religion supports. If you're a Christian, praising Jesus who died on a cross. You're supporting pedophilia, you're supporting human trafficking, and you're supporting a satanic cult because the Christian religion is a satanic cult and you don't have to like it.